now I got my first baddie. Let's get it. Oh, shit. Girls were the only thing on my mind as a teenager. Uh -huh. I tried to focus on school, but once puberty hit, it was game over for my rational thoughts. The only physics I cared about were the bouncing of Stacy's fun bags. So during my senior hey. year of high school, I was determined to get some. I didn't even care what it was. First base, second base, chest bump in the dugout, anything was better than nothing. But walking up to girls and raw dogging a combo was scary. Every time I was about to, my brain would just turn into a pothead seeing a cop like, What are you doing? Bail! Bail! Plus, I wasn't born with godlike genetics. I was just a typical six and a half inch scrawny pasty white boy. So I knew if I wanted a Wait. shot with any number. Nigga, six point. Nigga, six. Nigga, six and a half. What? Nigga, nigga, you got, you got it, bro. You good, my nigga. Nigga say he ain't had the genetics, bro. You, you fucking six foot. What? You, yes, you good, bro. Above a five. That's what my fuck my appearance. So I switched out my glasses for contacts, started working out, and wore enough Axe body spray to kill most small animals. The only thing I refused. Oh my Axe. Okay, Axe body spray is crazy. If if you if you walking around school with ass body spray, bro, please leave it at home, bro. Please don't do that again, bro. That strong gas shit, my nigga. I feel like Axe body spray is the only body spray that you can actually fucking taste when niggas pass by, bro. Like that shit so fucking strong. I don't know why that shit so strong. Like. Damn! ...to compromise on was my khakis. Super comfy and six pockets, they're the perfect pants. Yeah, I get women are disgusted by them, but maybe if they got to know me, they'd see I'm really a genie. Ugh, I could go for some McDonald's right now. Your wish is my command. My next step was to draw attention to myself. I'm like, oh, I'll just get highlights in my hair and I'll try out for the school play. And to my surprise, it worked but for the wrong gender. Guys started hitting on me, which was flattering, but so annoying. Cause most of them didn't take no for an answer. One time a dude spit game at me and I immediately shut it down. I said, hey man, I'm flattered, but I don't play for your team. And he says, well, have you ever tried? I'm like, dude, that's not something you just try. I'm never home alone looking at my TV remote like, hmm. Then walk into school the next day like a happy ballerina. Anyway, clearly my strats weren't working, but is a strong motivator, so I wasn't giving up. My next best shot was during our senior class trip to Disney. That's right, for my senior class trip, we went to Disney World. Can you tell I went to an all-white high school? Who needs diversity when you have Space Mountain? They're both dark, make you scream, and end up taking your wallet, but I'd pay to go back to space. Does that joke make sense? Not really, but sounds offensive, and that's kind of what I'm going for. Anyway, the trip was three days, and on day one, my friend Kristen was sending me hard vibes. At first, I thought she was just being friendly, but it became clear she was digging me. Now, prior to this, I just viewed her as a friend, meaning I didn't find her banging. Don't get me wrong, she was cute. But wait, wait. The nigga tried to face bump you? What you mean? A fa what is a face bump? Is that, is that like another term for kissing or some shit? Or like, it's not head button, face bump, nigga try to. <laughs> what the fuck? But nah, bro, one she you, was bro. nine or ten, floaties or not, I'd be diving head first into that poon. So I kind of just pretended I didn't know what she was doing, but she began to get more direct. That evening, we were riding the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, and she starts rubbing my leg. My Johnson screaming, Let me out of here! I'm like, Jesus, am I about to get a handy at Disney? This pirate ride is about to be rated R. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm so tired. Well, luckily things didn't escalate, because apparently there's a bunch of night vision cameras all around the ride. Could you imagine the ride shuts down, lights turn on as an overhead announcement says, Ma'am, please remove your hand from his peg leg. Fast forward to later that evening, and I'm back in the hotel room chilling with homies. They're like, bro, you trying to smash? I'm like, I don't know. I love Kristen as a friend, but... I don't know if I feel the same way. Then my buddy Sean is like, why don't you just be friends with benefits? Which at the time seemed like a great idea, not realizing friends with benefits never works. One or both people end up developing feelings and your relationship will eventually crumble faster than Jonathan Major's career. But being a dumb kid, I'm like, I can make it work. Generations of men have tried and failed, but my 17 year old brain had it all figured out. So the next day I meet up with Kristen and immediately felt conflicted. Cause part of me was like, I really don't want to ruin our friendship. And the other part of me wanted to get my beak wet. My balls were dry for 17 years, and I just wanted some dome. You could argue I didn't know what I was missing, but I heard good things. The reviews for Blowies are in, and it's overwhelmingly positive. So like an absolute bitch, I just kept changing my mind. Constantly going from hot to cold. Until later that evening, when we were standing in line for the teacups. I don't know what it was, but when I looked at Kristen, I just thought, hey, why not? She's cute, funny, has a nice pair of fun bags. I think we'd have a great time together. Friends with benefits would be cool, but you know what? I think dating sounds even better. That's when my brain activated cringe mode. Cause instead of just asking her out or leaning in for a kiss, I said, oh, Kristen, I forgot, I got you a gift. 
and it's in my mouth. Then painfully walked forward to kiss her. Not lean in, no. I was at least three steps away. Letting the cringe really set in before locking lips with her. And since I never kissed before, I had no idea what I was doing. I just started throwing my tongue around like a quadriplegic trying to break dance. Also, keep in mind, we're still standing in line for the teacups. So after a few seconds of tonsil hockey, a disgusted mother taps me on the shoulder telling me the line is moving. And this happened multiple times. Each time she just looked more and more appalled. But I didn't care. To go from never kissing to kissing was incredible. It's like my happiness quotient turned to a new level of Super Saiyan. Like I didn't know there was a level beyond. Unfortunately, my dumb male brain decided to ruin the moment. You see, guys are compelled to do certain things. We all clean dirty toilets with our pee, we all smell our hand after scratching our balls, and we all go top speed on the teacups. So once we got in the ride, my homies and I are just spinning the heck out of it, not thinking of any possible consequences. Once it was over, we all felt crazy nauseous. Luckily, everyone was able to hold it down. Well, everyone except for Kristen, who decided to paint the sidewalk with her dinnertime turkey. That probably killed the mood, right? Nope. Horned up me went right back to making out 30 minutes later. Mm still taste that gravy. Eventually, I was able to ride her splash mountain, but unfortunately, there was a lot of dead fish in a river if you catch my drift. So whatever happened between me and Kristen, well, I ended up breaking up with her six months later. Now, all breakups are tough, but went as well as you could hope, because I left her for someone hotter who had a lot less seafood on her menu. That is funny. Nah, bro. Hey, hey, he fucked the thigh, bro. Damn, that's crazy, though. Bro wanted all bro the bro wanted her all this time and she's just damn. He nasty as fuck for kissing after she threw up though. That's that's some nasty ass shit. Like wait, that's that shit nasty. <clears throat> nah, that's some nasty shit.